Division by grouping. We can think of division problems as grouping rather than sharing sometimes. 10 divided by 2. I've got 10 dots. I need to find out how many groups of 2 I can make. One group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two. I count the groups. Five groups, so five is my answer. Let's try another problem now. We've got nine divided by three, and we're going to be using grouping. We need to figure out how many groups of three we can make from these nine lollies. First of all, we're going to make our groups. One group of three, two groups of three, and three groups of three. We can our groups. One, two, three. So three is our answer. From our total of nine, we can make three groups of three. Let's try a word problem. We have 12 tennis balls that need to be divided between four students. Our problem is going to look like this, 12 divided by four. We're going to figure out how many groups of four we can make from our 12 tennis balls. One group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four. So we have one, two, three groups, so our answer is three. We can group 12 into three groups of four.